Hi, today I'll be presenting to you our latest version of our OS, QTS 4.3.4. Let's take a look at some of the improvements coming with QTS 4.3.4. QBoost optimizes your resources to keep your system running as smoothly as possible. With the redesigned snapshot, now ARM processor models can run snapshot as well. QTS 4.3.4 will also support direct access to backup files on your phone to your NAS through USB. The search app, QSearch, will now have the ability to search for files across all of your NAS devices. And QPhoto lets you upload photos and videos directly to your NAS. So let's talk about QBoost. Let's take a closer look at how QBoost works. QBoost optimizes your memory by freeing up cache memory and swap memory, and frees up storage space by deleting unnecessary system files and emptying the recycle bin. QBoost also enables you to easily enable apps, disable apps, or set a schedule for the running of your apps. Here you can see a display of how you can easily manage all of your apps in one place giving you the ability to easily enable, disable, set a schedule for, or delete your apps. So to sum things up, QBoost helps you optimize the performance of your NAS, it helps you clean your storage space by eliminating junk files, and it enables you to schedule the running of your apps for the most efficient allocation of your resources. In addition to QBoost, QNAP is rolling out a brand new storage and snapshots manager with QTS 4.3.4. has made many upgrades to the storage and snapshot features of the NAS. These great upgrades will help you manage your storage and snapshots and protect your data as effectively as possible. Here's a list of some of our new features coming out with QTS 4.3.4. The redesigned OS dashboard shows everything concerning the status of your storage in one place. QNAP offers block-level snapshots for volumes and iSCSI LUNs. With QTS 4.3.4, QNAP is facilitating a more flexible storage environment with the ability to implement tiering even after a storage pool is created, and the option to convert from a thick volume to a thin volume after the volume is created. You'll now have the ability to securely erase your hard drives. QTS 4.3.4 provides RAID order detection. QTS will now support RAIDs 50 and 60, offering even more flexibility and storage options. You will now be able to set aside guaranteed space for snapshots to secure your snapshots from being deleted. And with QTS 4.3.4, Snapshots will now be enabled with ARM processor NASes. The new storage overview page gives you a bird's eye view of your storage, giving you details of your storage space usage and showing the status of your volumes, storage pools, and disks all in one place. In QTS 4.3.4, you'll be able to easily view and check the health of your snapshots in the new snapshot overview. In the upper left corner, you can see the status of how strong your protection is. If the status is not healthy, take a snapshot as soon as possible and set a schedule for snapshots. Below, under Snapshot Summary, you can see what volumes or LUNs you have snapshots of. At the bottom, you can see how many snapshots you have of a volume or LUN. And on the bottom right, you can see how long it has been since you last took a snapshot. Now, with the support of RAIDs 50 and 60, you have even more options to match your scenario. You don't want to be stuck compromising on your storage when choosing a RAID array. Now, you can find the perfect balance with large capacity, strong performance, and impeccable security. Using RAID 50 and 60 is great for NAS models with over six drives. Now you'll get the most out of your drives. In the table here, you can see how QNAP stacks up against some of the other NAS models out there. One feature that really sets QNAP apart from some of the competition is the ability to perform block level snapshots. Taking a file level snapshot can take a while, but when you take block based snapshots, 
You'll have it done within moments. Additionally, snapshots will be available on all of our units with the new OS. As you can see, QNAP's performance is better than our competitors. Now, in addition to being able to manage your snapshots in the storage and snapshot section, you can also easily manage snapshots in file station just by dragging and dropping. In the display, you can see various snapshots in the snapshot folder. You can enable or disable the snapshot folder in the global settings. In the past, when you began to run out of room on your NAS, some of your oldest snapshots could be deleted. Now, you will be able to set aside space for your snapshots so you don't wind up having your snapshots unexpectedly erased. The RAID order auto detection mechanism helps ensure the disk order when migrating drives to a new NAS. Even if the drives are not plugged in the same sequence, the RAID order auto detection ensures that the data stored on the RAID can be used on the new NAS. Moving data between NAS systems becomes much easier. There may be times when you need to make sure that you have completely deleted a file so that it can't be recovered. You'll now have the ability to completely erase your hard drives with no trace of the data remaining so that confidential data won't be recoverable in any way. About 40% of our NAS units that are sold are powered by an ARM processor. Our ARM processor NASs are a popular, cost-effective option for home and small business users. Now, we are making available the invaluable feature of Snapshot even on our ARM processor units. On ARM processor QNAPs, you'll be able to take up to 64 snapshots per volume or LUN and up to 256 snapshots in total. And QNAP snapshots are performed on the block level, giving the best performance. With QTS 4.3.4, the USB port on your NAS now supports mobile devices, letting you backup directly to your NAS. There are various ways you could go about backing up your mobile device. One way we have backed up mobile devices up to this point has been using a public cloud. One of the drawbacks of this, however, is that your speed is limited to your internet connection, making it time consuming to retrieve your data. Another method for backing up mobile devices has been to first back up to a computer and then from there make the backup to another storage device. Now, with QTS 4.3.4, you can back up your mobile device directly onto your NAS, giving you a quicker, easier method for securing your mobile data. So to back up from your mobile device directly to your NAS, you can use the USB one-touch copy button. To do this, you're going to open up Hybrid Backup Sync, click on External Backup, click USB One Touch Copy, and select Smart Import, and then click Apply. Now you'll be able to back up all of the photo and video files from your mobile device with the touch of a button. When you do this, a folder which will be named by the date of your backup will be automatically created to store the mobile backup. After the initial backup of your mobile device, when you make subsequent backups of the same device, only the new data will be copied onto the NAS so that you don't waste storage with redundant files. You'll hear a beep at the beginning of your mobile device backup and at the end of your mobile device backup. And if you want, you can check your event notifications to double check to make sure that your device has been backed up. In addition to backing up your mobile device via the One Touch Copy button, you can also view your mobile device as external storage. To do this, you open Hybrid Backup Sync, click on External Backup, select USB One Touch Copy, but then instead of selecting the Smart Import, you would select As an External Storage Drive and click Apply. After you've done this, you can simply drag and drop from your mobile device to your NAS. We provide a powerful search engine called QSearch to help you quickly and easily locate your files. So even if you forget where you stored a file, finding what you need can be done in a matter of seconds. Now, you can utilize this feature on your mobile device with our QSearch mobile app.
The QSearch app enables you to search the files of your NAS right on your phone. Now you can even search the files of multiple NAS units on the app of your phone. You can search by file name or metadata. You can find all of the registered NASs that you can search on your MyQNAP Cloud account. With so many things to take up space on your mobile device, such as music, apps, podcasts, photos, and videos, at some point, you've probably experienced a shortage in available storage space. Now, with QPhoto, you can instantly upload photos and videos to your NAS while you're taking them, keeping the storage on your mobile device completely free. If you aren't connected to the internet when taking the photos or videos, QPhoto will just keep the footage on your mobile device until you have internet access, and then it will back up the photos and videos, after which it will delete the photos and videos from your mobile device. To explore more of the new features coming out with QTS 4.3.4 that we couldn't get to in this presentation, check out our website at www.qnap.com. Well, I hope you're as excited as I am about our new OS. Thanks for watching.